Ew. This is the bathroom steel. All the way over there, all the way around. There you go, there's a the bathroom steel. That's the whole plant. And you got this archway. This is where Music Fest is held every year, so. That's just most of it right there. There's an old crane. It used to go in that building over there and this building right here. Look at that. Buildings are falling apart though. Over here we got more. Hopefully they turn those into apartment buildings. That's what I want them to do. Turn all that into apartment buildings. There's more buildings you guys could see. Uh, out there, I don't know if you can see it, but where that tower is, that's where they used to make the ammo for like the old planes and stuff. This is all the Bethlehem Steel though. This is the Arts Quest Center, Center, where they have Music Fest every year. These are just abandoned buildings that I hope they fix. These would make really nice apartments. Uh, you got those buildings down there. These ones right here, these rundown buildings. My family used to work here at Bethlehem Steel, so there's a fun fact. If it was still open today, I would probably be working here as well. My, my aunts and uncles used to work here and uh, the Nazareth Cement Mill. Look at that window up there. That's pretty cool. And then that right there, the uh, Museum of Industrial History is down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's zoom in. Right there. Right there, that's pretty nice. But yeah, so these are the old buildings. These are all old parts to the steel factory that they used to make. Same thing over there. That's just an abandoned building. That used to be the, uh, the old science center right there. This is the new history museum that they built. It's pretty nice. Over there you got old, an old train car carriage. You got the end of the steel stacks. The central tool annex. Building number 76. So there's 76 buildings around here. It's pretty cool. You have a bunch of rundown buildings. Well, this is all Bethlehem Steel. You got all these. You got a hotel tug tug. Those tug machines. That was white. At one point, I don't know why they colored it orange. Now open Friday, Saturday, 11 to 4. Safety involves teamwork. Look at that old steel press. That's what I guess that is. That looks like an old steel cutter. And then back there, you can see the train, the train car, the pink train car, uh, the trailer. That's an old. That's where the train is. I'll do. I'll do that, guys, in a minute. Over there is the, the where the. College kids stay, the dorm across the street. Here's that big building. And that elevator shaft right there. Where the ele elevator goes up all the way. And there's an old train car. There's also more, this is, that's why I like Bethlehem, because Bethlehem has one of the best looking steel mills. Although it's run down, in my opinion. It's the best looking one here, so. But they did a good job on that. National Museum of Industrial History. That's pretty nice looking. They redid that whole building. That was a rundown building, it looked like these. That one, they re redid all the windows and everything. It's pretty nice. Turn those into some condos. Those will be worth good money. Over there, you got the rundown building. Back there, too. See? Now we're crossing the street. Both of them still go all the way down there. It's insane. Look at all these rundown windows and stuff. It's pretty nice though, to be honest. I like old architecture like that. Oh, this uh, sidewalk's blocked off and I'm not gonna walk on it to uh, just fall, so. Here's the uh, power truck. Pretty nice. Bean Ink Contractors. I wonder if Mr. Bean owns the truck. 
just saw a copy, copy, copy. They patrol down here a lot. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for walking on this road. I don't think I will, but cops in Bethlehem, you never know, so. I didn't see them pull back out, so that's pretty nice. Got the old door right there. That says Carpenter and Pattern Shop, building number 92. We got more over here. More metal things. Nice. Got a dumpster, that's my home. Oh well, yeah, you got this annex building. They should turn this, I think it's like an outdoor nightclub. That would be kind of cool. Have like a nightclub in there, make a nightclub. And then right here's the, uh, well, the Antigua Community College Fowler's Southside Center, which looks to have a machine shop in it, okay. I didn't even know that. And that cop turned on this way, but there's no cop there now. Look at the older buildings. This ambulance has been parked here since like 96. Plant Patrol Headquarters, past desk. Oh, that's uh, where they used to have uh, where you had to go in to walk the plant. The iron foundry, that's what that is. That's an iron foundry. That's where they used to have the big buckets. Building number 84, and there's another foundry back there. So, zoom in. Woo! Zoom out a little bit, there we go. All this, dude, they're freaking, it's insane. So they have this right there, that building right there in the corner. That's an ice hockey rink for for uh, the local like youth hockey teams and all that. That's actually a hockey rink. The whole building is a hockey rink. Don't know what they're putting down there. I wonder if they're ever gonna open the train station um, over here. But there's the charter school they have here. And I'll show you guys more interesting stuff when I walk past it. There's a yellow star they made. The charter school right there. Charter Arts. There's a blue warehouse. <laughs> you can see it, it's a big blue warehouse. I wanna show you guys my town. So this is a charter school that we ended up last time. So, but this, this warehouse, they got cameras and everything. Pretty cool. I think it's stolen then. Factory. Nice. Oh, this thing up here is pretty cool. Look at that. They made this thing into a flower pot. This is something from the, the steel plant. They made it into flower pot holders, which is pretty funny. Smile for your picture. Cheese. That's the cool looking sidewalk. All right, peace. All right guys, here's the old train station. Let's see that there. There's the uh, Lind, I think it's an oxygen company. I'm not even sure. But look how strict they are. Can't even skateboard, who, who like, what kind of business doesn't like to have skateboarding on their property? Yeah, that's the old train station though. Maybe I'll do a video for you guys one day of me skateboarding. Now here's the old signs that tell you everything. So you guys can read that. There's a sign over here. I think it's still here. I don't know what language this is. I think it's Japanese though. At the top of it's Spanish. I think the other part is Japanese or Chinese. It's private property in Chinese. It's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alright, so showed you guys that. I'm gonna show you guys the library next. Okay, right across there, 
don't know if you guys can see that white building right there. That's the banana factory. That's where they do. That's where they set up music fest and everything every year. So that's where they set up music fest. And then over here is the what is the building called? Oh yeah, Lehigh University's dorms. Oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, this is the Steel Fitness building. It's a big gym, and on the, there's a parking garage, one loft. Like this loft is huge. The corner window there is the loft. Um, but the rest of that, all the way down, is a whole gym, like a mall. There's a mall inside, and then a parking garage. This used, to, this used to also be part of the Bethlehem Steel. So. Uh, what I do like about this bridge is we have these things with Bethlehem on them. That's pretty cool. Not a lot of bridges have that. Back in, I think it was 2010, 2015, I forgot what year it was. They had to redo the whole bridge because it was a, we had a really bad earthquake here. We didn't really get earthquakes here, but we had an earthquake, earthquake one time and the uh, sidewalk split from the bridge so every crack you see in the sidewalk where there was a you can see through the bridge they fixed it. it took them like two years to fix we're gonna head up by the library show you guys old mansions and then uh, here's the train tracks Dang, somebody just drove past smoking pot whoo that's some strong stuff there's another view of the uh, steel Nice. Look at that train right there. About to go, he got his lights on and everything. The Lehigh River. Look at the Lehigh, guys. Better view of it. The Lehigh River goes all the way down. There's a thing on the bridge again. That is true. That's what the bridge is named after. I, mean, I remember about a year ago, somebody ran into this thing. He was high on something. He ran into the fucking police memorial we have. Here's the library, guys. I'll show you that in a second. I just wanted to get, show you guys that because that's how we, that's where we memorize. Some some cops here are rude, but there's other ones that are nice. The good guys, like Fakey, are from what I read about him, he was a nice guy. He got shot in 1969 during a traffic stop. So, that's what I heard. I don't know if that's true. But, that's what the, that's what it says when I was looking them up. That's what it said. So, yeah. Being a cop's no joke, man. It's a hard job. You get, you get paid jack shit and you get treated like crap. But, uh, yeah. So, I just wanted to show you guys that. Ne oh, yeah. There's that thing. That weird statue thing made of rocks. Look at that, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's the police station right there, guys. All right, guys. Now we are in the historic district, so. You have the uh, city hall right here, a couple old mansions. That one over there is like three mil, it's for sale. to film a city hall, that's why I'm not doing it. In memory of the 35th Bethlehem area boys who lost their lives in the Vietnam War. Wow. Here's our library. Now apparently, this statue right here is from the Twin Towers. 
Let's see if I can find a plaque for it. Yeah, right here. Victory Rebuild. 10 year anniversary sculpture artist made out of part of the concrete slurry bathtub foundation wall of the original World Trade Center complex after 9-11. That's sad. Pretty cool though. Another cop drove past. We're out on full force today. <laughs> Here's some more mansions. The more old, this is the historic district. That's why you got all these old buildings and stuff, so. There's the old church. You guys can probably see it right down there. Here's a puppy. Puppy! What kind of dog is he? It's a, a golden shih tzu. Oh, he's nice. Teddy. I have a. Right, he's friendly. I, I have a weird mix. I got a, a Irish setter mixed with a cocker spaniel. Yeah, so I got her from. I can see it though. Yeah, I, I definitely I, see it. I got her from the uh, from a junkyard. So. Wow. Like My buddy I, had a Springer Spaniel mixed with the Saint Bernard. Oh really? Unbelievable. The, the weirdest. Absolutely good. His paws were massive. The weirdest dog I've had probably was a Rottweiler Beagle mix. <laughs> I can't, I can't see that. He was <laughs> he is, he has the face uh like the face and the body of a Rotty, but he has the ears of a Beagle. Oh. So, that must have been cute. Yeah. Right. His name was Stevie. Have a good one. Take care, Bye, puppy. Some people are nice around here. Here's the old sister's house on the corner there. You see it? That old brick structure. Here's a dude in a freaking little tractor. It's on the sidewalk. He should have done that two weeks ago. But here's a, uh, there's the old sister's house right there. These houses alone, with all the old architecture, probably like a mill. Probably expensive. Oh, hold on. Let me cross here, because I don't want to end up getting hit. You guys still there? Yeah, that's the old sister's house right there. An old no parking sign. Pretty cool. Look at all that. All the old buildings. That's all part of the college. Down here, it's more college dorms. And I'll read you guys what it says on the, uh, the, Christian, the Christian Education Building. Okay. I mean, whatever you're into. Look at that old building right there. Pretty cool. I'll read you this sign now. The last one I couldn't read because it was in front of the police station. I don't want to end up getting yelled at for filming a city hall, a sister's house. This wing was erected in 1773. That's insane. Let's take a... It's crazy. And then it says, sister's house built in 1774. You guys can read all that. So this is the Brethren's House, 1748. The Bell House. They see how these buildings are haunted, but I've never seen a ghost in any of these. There's the, uh, the Bell House, and then... These are all old buildings. Old Chapel, Single Brethren's House, Meridian Bookshop. A little more old buildings. Gemin House. Did I say that right? Gemin House, erected in 1741, first place of worship in Bethlehem, was on the second floor of Count von Zindersdorf had quarters. Here, 1742, place of many notable conferences in the colonial and revolutionary periods. Nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut off here. Here's the old church on the corner. Look at that, whoa! And it goes all the way up. 1748, 1748. Hey. Boy, I'm a fellow. Better, 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 better. This used to be a, uh, right here, read this. The 
Look at that. You guys can read that. I just wanted to show you that because I saw that I read that the other day. So. And there is the hotel, the Bethlehem Hotel. Hotel Bethlehem. And this, everybody, there's gonna be a part, there's gonna be like a part two and a part three to all these videos. But this is Main Street. Let me tell you, Main Street gets packed. Well, more old buildings, colonial buildings. That's the old blacksmith's uh, building right there. Yeah, this is Main Street, everybody, so both sides get packed. Here's old, old buildings again. Look at that building. It's pretty cool. It's an old piano building. They used to sell pianos in it. Alright, so this hotel that we're coming up to is called the Sun Inn. It was made in 17, it was built in 1758. The Museum Tavern and Distillery. The rumor is that George Washington and everybody stayed here at one point. I think they have, uh, they, they told us one time who stayed, who all stayed in here. I think it was Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln. Uh, those are the few of the people who stayed in here. There's a mall over there, so. 